Hey, hey, Bash. It's the 3rd of November, 2018. Shabbat Shalom. And I must share with you uh, some things that have been kind of building up for a couple of days. Uh, what this leads to is what I am just not quite sure of what this is saying. Uh, but I know it's something important. I just know that. So there's that. And, and it started with this very strange article. Okay, I'm not going to play the little video here. It's it's really, it's almost embarrassing for the world, really, to even buy into this stuff. You know what I mean? But I want you to just notice a pattern and a few things that seem to to point to something and, and I just can't put my finger on it um, but this article came out on the 30th three days ago and it's interesting to note that it was posted at 11 11 a.m. on the 30th and in this 11 11 in this 311 as well as 911 the 2018 are just all over the place they updated it the same day at 1 30 13 and what I noticed about this article look at this 13 comments is not just this plume of smoke that NASA is telling us is coming out of Mars and bear in mind that Mars is the the war god that's it, it's associated with war okay and there's this plume of smoke and there are a couple of things that came to me as soon as I saw this all right the fact that it's at Arcea Mons is one of them. And the smoke plume reminded me of something else after this, right? The Arcea Mons aspect of it brought back from last year. I was actually shown this in this image of Arcea Mons. That's what this is, okay? Same exact place that this smoke plume is coming out of, okay? There are multiple images here that can show you that. I hate this Sun uh, website because they always show like gross, stupid things over on the other side, you know. But there's some images that I want to show you, okay. See, now here's one of those crappy images that they show on this website that I don't feel like putting a little, uh, little blur thing over. I just want to show you this. This is that, that exact same place are sea amons and that's the plume of smoke and you can see in the image see these two lines right here facing down so it's it's um situated the same way that it is in this article that i saw last year in nasa right here see that the two lines it's the same exact place and this was put out on march 20th which is basically the spring equinox okay they love to do these things at these time of year you know new lava flows every one to three million years and it just goes on and on but if you look at this image okay i brought this in last year because it, it was literally shown to me okay this is the same exact image that you get off of the website and i'll link this so you can pull this image in yourself to take a look at it and if you look down here, it's just obvious, blatant, ridiculous that there is an image here of what I would call the Statue of Liberty. You call it Ishtar, Mother Goddess, whichever you like to call it, because that's what it is. And I could give you a comparison here. There is no way, I'm sorry, but we're talking about NASA here that this formation accidentally formed on the surface of Mars, especially when you take into consideration that there are no similar formations anywhere else around here. That is intentional. So I see that, and it reminds me of New York, of course. But this plume of smoke also reminded me of New York when the twin towers were actually burning there was a plume of smoke that's trailed out they have satellite pictures of it everywhere 
for days, for days, and that's what that reminded me of. So I wind up back thinking about New York. So I wind up on good old Wikipedia, the World Trade Center, the One World Trade Center in particular, this exact building, okay? And what I noticed about this was that building, World Trade Center 1, was officially opened on November 3rd, which is today. And when I see this image, it literally makes me think of the spire and what that represents and Barack Obama signing the last beam to go into this building, okay? And he did that. Get a load of this. This is just the craziness that comes about here. Oh, wait till I get into the scriptures too. Obama signing the beam on June 14th, 2012. That's when he signed it. Okay, Donald Trump's birthday, and not just his birthday, his 66th birthday of all things, okay? That's the day he signed the beam into the One World Trade Center Tower that opened on November 3rd, okay? Now, just the fact that, that he signed it on that day is nothing really in and of itself except when you look at the time span between these two events today and the beam signing on Trump's birthday 2,333 days now there are several things that came into my mind when I see this but I knew that it was absolutely something to pay attention to when I saw that it was also 333 weeks now you just can't that doesn't happen those are mirrors of each other, the 3332 and the 2333. Now, it doesn't end there. That was when Obama signed the beam. And what did he sign the beam with? He signed it with, we remember, we rebuild, we come back stronger. Okay? B.O. Now, I'm not going to get into the details of what that means and everything. I'm just showing you this pattern that is undeniable to me. And I want you to also notice the percentage of the years. 639.18% of a common year. 639. 333. 2333. The 333, we can go into a multitude of what that means, but what came to me today was this. S-O-S. -S, 333. Three. That's what came to me. And S-O-S -S also represents this. The 911, the 333. And you get the 911 through their little numerology magic. You see that? S1061S. S. Six, of course, we turn upside down. Now, the reason that I'm showing you this is because when I go to scripture, right? That was the scripture that I just showed you a minute ago. It was this one that I got this morning. Romans 1, 16 through 18. Okay, I suggest you read Romans 1 at the very least because it's incredible, but I see numbers, you know that. And I see the 9-11 right, right away. But I also see 16 through 18 is 33. And this 33 will not leave. It means something. I know that this is telling us something. So I go to the Bible. I just do a quick search, you know, for two three 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 in the bible the actual uh, number for today in the greek two three 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 is theudas an imposter who instigated rebellion which came to a wretched end and you can read about that in acts five it's it's very 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 telling an imposter okay now the two three 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 in the uh, Bible, I mean, I'm telling you, in this search right here, this is the first Bible verse that came up. Luke 23, 33 through 43. And this is amazing to me. This just blows my mind, right? So we go to Luke. Let's go right to Luke in the e-sword. 
and we go to 23, 33, and this is the precise moment, okay, when Christ was placed on the cross with the two malefactors. That is so important. One on the right and one on the left. I'm telling you in my spirit, this means something very important. 2333, the exact number, okay? I just got to go over this stuff as precise as I can, okay? So this is the moment that Christ and the two malefactors are put on the cross, okay? Think about this. If we continue these days as, as they proceed, today is the third. If we go to the fourth, it'll be two, three, three, four, and so on, five, six, right? As if we're following the scripture, okay? And this is the crucifixion of Christ. It goes through this, right? Now, this is where it gets really, really interesting, okay? Right to the death of Jesus. And it was about the sixth hour. And there was darkness for three hours until the ninth hour, okay? Remember the, the, the time span here. The six, three, nine, and that those three numbers were also shown to me well over a year ago in such a way that, you know, it was like one of those things is between me and God, I guess. But those numbers are very significant, okay? So, six, three, nine, and then in 2346, he cried out with a loud voice and said, Father, into thy hands I commend my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. He gave up the ghost in Luke 23, 46. Think about that. The twin towers came down on 9-11. And they were replaced with the One World Freedom Tower. With a Muslim spire in a beam that finishes it signed by Barack Obama, with uh, who, by the way, for all intents and purposes, has so many things pointing to him as a very, very key figure in all of what we see. Now, you know what I mean? And on Trump's 66th birthday, signs the beam. We remember, we rebuild, we come back stronger. 2,333 days ago. 333 weeks, 639% of a common year, 0.18666. I'm just telling you, this in my spirit means something. And it definitely is an SOS. Just telling you, I don't know how else to put it. We could go through so many things in this. 333 is a third. A third of the angels fell. On and on and on. All I know is this, this really resonates in my spirit as something that needs to be paid attention to and shared for others to look at. And you remember, I showed you how in 2346, which adds up to 69, Let's not forget that Barack Obama, back in 2011, invoked Psalm 46, okay, on 9-11. Barack Obama reads Psalm 46, 2011, not long before he signed God this beam. I, I can't listen to that. Very few months before he even signed this beam. In fact, I believe it was like three months and 30 days or something like that. You can look this up between June 14th, 2012, and 9-11, 2011. That's, that's when he did this. Psalm 46, though. And on 9-11, 2001 itself, George Bush invoked Psalm 23. 23, 46. Do you see where I, I, I... This is where I'm just not exactly understanding what's being shown. But it's meaningful. I can tell you that. Bush. Psalm 23. I just pulled this randomly out of YouTube. Look at this. It's got 2326 two, views. 232 two with 23 and 3. You can't make this stuff up. You know what I mean? There's something going on here and I need to share it. And so 
that's what I'm a doing, folks. I pray you have a peaceful Sabbath. And uh, keep looking up, folks. Our redemption is near. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 